You're welcome to another edition of the Market Opening Gong, where we bring you updates from the Nigerian capital markets. This edition captures the market performance for Tuesday, 27th of September, 2022. From the Nigerian exchange, the equities markets dipped by minus 0.06% to close the day negative as investors lost 15.03 billion naira. Its year to date returns currently stands positive at plus 15.09%. The All Share Index closed at 49,161.45 basis points as market capitalization stands at 26.52 trillion naira in 3,777 deals. The market closed with 13 gainers to 17 losers. The top three gainers for the day were NGX Group PLC, Multiverse PLC, and Itana PLC. While the top three losers were May Baker PLC, Regalinks PLC, and Vitaphone PLC. Transcorp PLC, Zenith Bank PLC, and FCMB PLC were the most active stocks by volume. From the unlisted OTC markets, the NSI and market capitalization inched up by plus 0.98% to close at 732.25 basis points and 963.94 billion naira respectively. The total volume traded moved up by plus 480.79% to close at 189,296 naira, values at 6.23 million naira traded in 18 deals. The FMDQ group that market size closed at 29.32 trillion naira, the NIFEX rates inched up by plus 0.20% to close at 436 naira 5 kobo, while the NEFX rates closed at 436 naira 33 kobo to a dollar. And on the commodities markets, the Brent crude oil price inched up by plus 2.22% to close at $85.8. The WTI also inched up by plus 2.27% to close at $78.08 dollars as of 11.52 a.m. CDT. Gold inched up by plus 0.16 percent to close at $1,630.49 dollars. Silver dips by minus 0.16 percent to close at $18.41 dollars as of 10.52 a.m. CDT. And from the FX markets, Cocoa advanced by 6.61% to top the Guinness chart, while Sorghum declined by minus 5.588% to top the loser's chart. Visit www.proshare.co to get our daily market snapshots. And for the news around the markets, the Monetary Policy Committee of the Central Bank of Nigeria at the end of its 287th two-day meeting voted to raise the monetary policy rate by 150 basis points from 14% to 15.5%. It also raised its cash reserve ratio from 27.50% to 32.5%, while it retained its liquidity ratio at 30%. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Do connect with us on our social media platforms showing on the screen. And until we come your way again, thank you for watching.